Hello all, Strike here, and welcome back to some more Princess Quest 3D Damageless playthrough. Now, this is part 2, and like I said in the previous part, this is going to be Princess Quest 3. Not 2, because 2 is very, very difficult. But, to start things off, we don't need to go backwards to kill that one enemy, because we don't have to kill all enemies. We start off with this big line of these enemies. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. I haven't played the Princess Quest in Security Breach. This is quite literally my only understanding of Princess Quest is 3D. <laughs> like, I haven't played any other Princess Quest than just this one. But yeah, starts off with just defeating these enemies. I mean, there's not really much to explain. But with these attempts, I start off with Grim Foxy because this, this will make and break pretty much the speed runs, both in Deathless and Damageless. Though, I guess on technical terms, we could say that Grim Foxy doesn't count as taking any damage quote unquote, because he doesn't take away hearts. He just straight instant kills you without drawing down your hearts. But yeah, anyway, we enter the maze, of course, but and this is where I got close. I just heard him, I hit the lamp, and I realized as I turned left, he was right there. I would, my heart dropped for a second when I saw that. I thought I was about to mess up, but it wouldn't have mattered because by the way, this is my first attempt doing damage list on this one. So yeah, that that's what happened. I beat this first try. And that's why I was talking about so much about Princess Quest three being the easiest. And why I wanted to do that instead of the second one because the second one is easily much more difficult but now we're exiting the maze here and we're exiting i hear grim foxy and i realize he's right there so we head back circling back around so that we don't have to deal with him hitting a dead end along the way but yeah hitting another dead end um you know i was really bad at navigating the, <laughs> the maze but we finally found our way to here where we can then loop around to the other one other lamp and exit the maze as you'll see but yeah and here we go we're at the end of the maze so now we're exiting and we're going to the second part of the map to get the glitch trap plush and as you see we got the vanny mask from getting the chest in the maze i remember when i first played this one i think this level took me initially when I first played it, when it released, I think it took me 30 minutes to just beat the level. Just to beat the level, it took me 30 minutes. But now I'm first trying it damageless. So to say the least, I think I've made some good progress. I missed the escalator there getting onto the surface, but that's all right. Second try is a charm. That guy's not close. And now I can ignore him because the chest down there is actually a health one and health chests don't really matter in this damageless because there's no point to getting them it's just more chores than beneficial and right there i nearly get shot by the cyclops which was very scary but right here we're once again dragging him out so that we don't have to deal with him and the floating eyeless monster well it's not eyeless yet wait is it I haven't actually thought about it. Is it? We'll see. Okay, it is, yeah. It, it's, it's not eyeless, it's got eyes. For some reason, I couldn't remember what it looked like. <laughs> for some reason. But here we go, the escalator. For some reason, it has a very hard left push on the first part of the escalator for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but it does. But, yeah, it does. But anyway, go through the elevator. I don't know if it's possible to die on the elevator. I personally have never died on it while going fast. So I'm just assuming you can't. But then here, we hit the red lamp so that we can hit the purple one over here and go on to the first escalator to hit yet another one right here. And then we use this one and we hit it and it stops the second escalator. I'm probably using the wrong word and then not escalate it, but you know what? You understand what I mean anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not thinking. But then right here, now we have the spring trap, oh sorry, glitch trap plus. So now, 
we can move on and get to the final part of this level, of this princess quest. So, I didn't realize, but this is actually a pretty lengthy level. I thought the second one was the longest, but I think this one might actually be the longest, to be honest. Maybe because I'm trying to do it damageless, and obviously I have to take my time, but I don't know. I haven't tried to speedrun the games. Like, I've, I've done speedruns of them, but I've never put in, like, you know, hours to optimize a good run on these levels. Like, it's, I'd say, like, I could go for a good Princess Quest 1, but I don't know if I'd want to do the same with the second and the third. I think I could with the third, because it wouldn't be too bad. I could just run through the enemies at the ending, and that would, oh, and I lag there. But then right here, I forget that I need to go to the prize corner and trade in these items for a key. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that, so now, as you can see, I'm going back. I feel stupid, but oh well. It, it is what it is. You forget sometimes. But now we're back here with the key, so now the cove will open. And as we did with the Deathless, we're using the same strats we did on that one, on this one. So we're just taking our time one by one, dragging out the enemy, so we have less enemies to deal with, and it's not so bad. And I don't know how I can get hit there, but you know what? I'm going to take it. So we deal with this enemy, and now we drag out the Cyclops here, because their range will be able to get just before the other enemy. And then we hit them twice. That goes very close, because for some reason he just delayed his shot big time. I don't know why it delayed so much, but luckily we got through that. So that's the thing that really matters in the long run. Anyway, we defeat these enemies, slash, 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 three times. And yeah, we're looking good. So, and then this, yeah, once again, we drag out this enemy. You see, I was, I was adjusting that to the right and left to decide which one I was, had to get rid of first, which I then realized was obviously this character so and then next we're going to be dragging out the cyclops and then after this the rest of it's easy just deal with the other two make sure i do not get hit and that if you're wondering why when i hit i then move back it is a re reassurance that if my swing misses if i move back i won't get hit so that that's a good way to avoid damage against those enemies when using your sword is to do that and here we go this is now the ending of the level that is that is the level complete loading and a funny thing when i did this actually is i got the deathless ending i got the deathless ending even though i hadn't done princess quest 2 yet which is very interesting I don't know why it gave me the Deathless ending, but the, if you haven't seen the Deathless ending, just get out of it right now if you want to see the Deathless playthrough instead. But this is what you get when you play through the game Deathless. And yeah, this you get sent into like a security breach cutscene and you're in Vanny's hideout after you've beaten Princess Quest 3, just like the original security breach and we get an animated version of the good ending scene which was very interesting and wholesome an ending where everything goes well well i guess not really for freddy he's just ahead but you know what whatever and then the credits here they are and i'm gonna let them play through so you can see it why not and yeah as you can see it's made it was made with unity 2021 point 3.1 F1. Cast by Emil Joes. Programming by Emil Joes. Animations by Emil Joes. As you can see, a lot of it was an individual effort, which is really impressive. I really like the game. Level design by Emil Joes and Steel Wolf Studios. Models by Emil Joes. Almost everything. Steel Wolf Studios characters. Violet Queen, Princess Model. You know, yeah, I can read that in time before it goes off, but read it. Texturing and Miljoes and Polyhaven.com. Music, Miljoes, special effects. On a loop. Um, yeah, that's too quick. Beta testers, Miljoes, of course, the creator, playtesting. Roland, playtesting. And Jolin, playtesting. 
you know what, that's actually kind of one of my dreams in life. Like, I would love to play test a fan game. That would, that would be a dream come true, honestly. Or just to be part of a fan game. Thanks for playing. It is highly appreciated. No problem. And not only am I going to be the first one to do deathless, I hope I can be the first one to do damageless. That is my goal. And then here's the menu. And if you are wondering from the previous episode, or if this is the first episode you've seen of my damageless playthrough, if you're wondering what that yellow star is, that yellow star is achieved by doing a deathless playthrough and getting the deathless ending. So yeah, if you want that, you've got to play through deathless. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more. See you next time. Goodbye.